Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show with me, Marjorie Hash. This week I have the pleasure of welcoming the singer and guitarist of Mannequins, one of the most exciting punk rock outfits to come out of France in recent years. Their first album, Body Negative, led them to tour extensively France and even brought them to the UK and China to name but a few countries they went and toured. The band have just released their second LP entitled The Second Principle, for which they got even more experimental in the studio. Adrian, thank Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure. Uh, congratulations on your new record. Um, I want to know a little bit more about the title, The Second Principle. Where has that come from? Um, I guess we wanted a title that matches the ambience and the titles of the, of the songs. I mean, we're not really keen on physics or mathematics. We didn't really care about that. But we think we, we like the sound of it. And since we got into space rock and psychedelic music, we wanted something that has space written all over it, mm -hmm. you know. And um, of course, it's the second album as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, second principle in physics, do you know what it is in a nutshell? Not really, I couldn't explain <laughs> it. <laughs> Send us a little postcard, dear viewers. Yeah. <laughs> um, as a band, as you were saying, like, you've kind of evolved your sound. You know, you were very, um, you know, your music was very, like, punk rock, but on, like, pop structure, if I yeah. may say, in the first album. And there you've kind of gone, as you said, space rock. Uh, there's also a lot of ambient industrial metal uh, and, yeah, opera, music opera. I mean, a lot of the videos also make me think of, you know, rock operas, in yeah, a way. Um, what mood were you in when you went into the studio? Um, I think we really wanted to keep things fresh and exciting for us and also for the audience, obviously. So we wanted to to broaden the palette of sounds mm -hmm. and since we had a lot of time during lockdown we tried different things like we tried to uh, build a DIY modular synthesizer with our uh, sound engineer mm -hmm. and we also built many DIY things like uh, tubular bells from metal pipes and things like that so yeah we wanted to to expand the sound a lot and have new yeah, new sounds, new influences in mm. our music. Well, it's a really cool album, and I think we should check out this excellent new video that's just come out. Let's go. One of the tracks you can find on the new Mannequins album. Uh, now, uh, how about, tell us a little bit about this video because I'm completely obsessed with the outfits. I really want to get myself a silver mm -hmm. suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we just uh, got them from super cheap from the internet. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we just looked cool with all the flares on the, the light flares on the video. Mm -hmm. It was, was something very 70s looking. Yeah, yeah any um, artists in particular that inspired you in this? sort of domain? Um, I think there's the, an old uh, Swedish band, I guess, from the 60s or 70s called... Sputniks, I think. The Sputniks. Yeah, oh, yeah. and oh, they yeah. had like those um, uh, astronaut outfits and we wanted to to mix this this with a kind of uh, more formal stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So we tried this and they're kind of cheap looking, but... But like cool. <laughs> but cool. Um, you also got a new member in your band who yeah. is called Hugo, who's like on keys but also on guitar. Uh, tell us what it's like having a sort of this addition to the band. Yeah, he's, um, I mean, we, we've taken some kind of uh, new direction with a more, yeah, maybe progressive approach mm -hmm. to, to, to music, some more, more psychedelic stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a lot into this kind of music, so he was really. Uh, really helpful for the writing sessions and arrangements. I love the way you play with your voice as well in the record, um, because I think I read that you guys see it as an instrument that's yeah. in itself. Tell us a bit more about yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's just as important as a guitar or a drum kit or a synthesizer. Mm -hmm. It's just an instrument. It's a monophonic instrument with the only difference is that it's it has lyrics mm -hmm. and why not treat it as an instrument like with uh, reverbs, delays and everything you can put your hands on, effect pedals and 
all that. Yeah, no, it's cool. Um, also, you sing in mostly in English for Mankins. I yeah. don't think I've heard you in French, really. Uh, it was in English. Yeah. yeah um, when you write, though, does that play into it, the different language? Because I'll remind our viewers that you learned to speak English so well because you lived in Cardiff for yeah. a while as a student. Um, so what, what does the language, does that play an, an impact as well, do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's interesting because I'm not trying to translate French to English when I'm mm -hmm. writing. I'm always trying to write in English first and sometimes I can try to translate back to French, etc. to understand what I was trying to, mm -hmm. the, the moods I was trying to convey, you know, but um, yeah, most of the time it's just English first and that's strange because um, I'm writing stuff that I wouldn't be writing in French mm -hmm. and that makes for interesting things I think. Yeah, no, it's good to, to go and listen to the lyrics uh, avidly. Um, also, what I think is interesting is that as a band, you're from Rouen, you're not Paris centric, you know, a lot of bands, you know, uh, Paris feels such a centre of, uh, of France compared to, say, the UK, where different cities have a musical yeah. uh, strong uh, hold. Um, tell us a bit about Rouen, because you're, you've put your, your hat behind their candidacy uh, to be a European city of culture yeah. in 2028. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great city. It's just... Um, it has some um, old Gothic architecture, you know, so it's quite cool to live in there. And the the music scene is really, really amazing. So, yeah, it's just cool to be part of this. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And um, you're back on tour. You've announced a number of dates. You've already been touring this album since it's come out. Uh, what's First of all, what have been the reactions to this new record live? Yeah, I think the, the reactions have been good so far. Um, we've played France mostly, but also Holland. Uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, um, yeah, so far the audience have been really cool with us, so mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't start throwing bottles at us, so yeah. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Has that happened before? <laughs> I don't think it happened. <laughs> no. And um, also after lockdown, I can imagine that's pretty fun to, to do that. Um, what about bringing all those keyboards and, uh, you know, new instruments on stage? Is that an extra uh, challenge? Yes, that's a mm -hmm. challenge because obviously it takes up a lot of space on the stage, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just, um, it was important for us to do so because um, it's not that we were not starting to hate the guitars, but mm -hmm. we just wanted to have something new and exciting, uh, even on, on stage and just keep things uh, yeah, exciting for everybody, you know. So yeah, that was kind of logical for us to bring all these synthesizers on stage. Mm -hmm. And you've got an extensive tour in the autumn and you know to be going to go to Canada as well yeah. for three dates, which is super exciting. Yeah. Uh, but first up, let's come closer to home. Uh, the 21st of June is an important date in France. It's been celebrated as uh, the La Journée de la Musique, the day of music, where people go down in the streets and uh, also big bands do super productions. Uh, what are mannequins doing for the La Musique? Uh, mannequins are, aren't doing anything <laughs> on this day, but I'm playing with a, another band called Janvier. Mm -hmm in uh, our hometown of Rouen. It's going to be fun. Yeah, uh -huh. and do you, do you have fun memories of La Fête de la Musique in particular as a, as a uh, young person? Yes, I think three years ago when we toured China, we played on the 21st June and uh, yeah, we had a very, very big show on that day. So that was yeah. a good memory. Oh, well, lots to look forward to. Talking of looking forward to, I'm going to have a little look at uh, some of the new releases that are also coming out uh, this week. And we're going to start off with uh, this band who are from Sweden, Viagra Boys. Uh, their new album, Cave World, is set for July 8th. And they're currently touring Europe and will be playing at France, France's Vieille Charrue Festival. This song is called Punk Rock Loser. Different things that come in little plastic bags And they disappear the same way The same way Right, your average Normal dude, it's sure ain't glamorous I keep things loose, I ain't your average I do love a cowboy look, I uh, have to say. Uh, so this is a little mockery of um, the sort of stereotypes of rock music. What do you guys think at Mannequins about, like, you know, sort of those images of what is a rock star, what is a, a rocker? Is that something that you're a bit... Yeah, uh, um, we're trying to... I, I don't know, maybe we just... Um, we just think that this aesthetic of uh, rock and roll uh, stardom is maybe a bit old-fashioned so mm -hmm. yeah we don't really pay attention to that yeah it yeah. can be anything as well it's malleable yeah i think so yeah well how about we leave the world of rock and roll and now go to something completely different it's not rock but it's a uh, bigger ranks whose six studio album hey yo full of uh, dub reggae pop is out this week here's his track la montagne <laughs> 
nos peaux. Encore un avion dans le ciel qui se prend pour une étoile qui aimerait voler toute la Cassiopée. Photo, tu dis du mal de moi, t'aimerais kicker comme moi. Tu vas finir par te casser le pied. Je serai la montagne, tu feras laisser go. On ne parle jamais quand on en sait trop. Je serai l'étoile, tu feras la déco. On a beau trop tourner, t'as que des mauvais décos. Big Aranx, who will be playing uh, the festival outside Paris at the end of June, Soli Days. And, uh, well, that brings us to the end of the show because the France 24 news is just round the corner. Uh, Adrian from Mannequins, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, the second principle, your new album, is out. I highly recommend it and go see them live if you can, of course. Uh, we're going to uh, play out with uh, something completely different as well. We're going to heading over to, to Belgium where this queen, this goddess, who is Belgian Congolese artist Lou and the Yakuza's, is getting ready to release the follow-up to her first album, Gore. Her new track is rather melancholic and it's called Monsters. When the 